what's up people new video for you guys uh busy again this week in the workshop same as every week from now until drift masters round one basically uh Niall is with me again um he has been busy on connor's car we've been trying to just get a couple more bits in the car so battery is mounted just cable tied up the brake lines steering column is in um so yeah we've the fuel lines laid in also the water lines are dangling on the ground we cleaned the radiator out yesterday uh just blew out all the rubber so that's ready to go back in now as well um so yeah trying to get progress on connor's car is a little bit difficult as it's like everything that came off the car we didn't clean until now so when we pull it out of the corner it's a matter of cleaning everything truly before it goes back onto the car and checking everything and obviously that can create some roadblocks um my car just need to mount uh ecu and the pmu and i made turn this around i made these keypad holders for the three cars so they will well, they should look good uh, just next to the handbrake down the tunnel and I got an angle so that you can just press all the buttons with your thumb. Um, I also have this really sweet 1JZ GT86 in for uh, four wheel alignment. It has really nice engine bay. Uh, 1J, not too sure of the power, but um, yeah, it's running the V2 voice fab in the front. so. The owner asked us could we uh, set that up for him and have a look uh, through it and also do the back. The back isn't running on voice fab so I actually never realised how strange these cars react um, on the back uh, from factory. They're not very great at all so um, it's actually a credit to voice fab. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a credit to voice fab for how good they have the rear kit on the cars because our cars are so much easier to align. <laughs> um, like I had the front aligned um, fairly quickly as obviously it's like I have a know-how of like where things like roughly need to be and then you just do the quick measurements and everything is fine. Um, but the back is all over the place. Like it's really hard to try to get the camber out and then when you start putting toe in and out, the camber just goes langers again. Um, so yeah, but this thing looks fairly sweet. Um, it's a IDC Simi Pro car. 1JZ BMW gearbox. Uh, not too sure which diff is in the car, but yeah, it's a uh, fair play to him. He built the car himself as well, so um, yeah, it's good to see modern cars in semi pro class now, even, which is uh, great. But uh, yeah, we will try to keep you updated on what we're doing. Today, we have a new man in the workshop. This is a uh, Anko from Hi, GT Speedworks. He's from the Netherlands. He yep. has a workshop where he specializes in uh, Subaru stuff and all sorts of mad stuff that people don't dare to build, so he tells me. Uh, so uh, yeah, he is gonna do all the wiring on the cars. He himself and Jeroen from DBM sent over a big box of goodies. Um, so down here, there is very, very expensive rolls of wire yeah very expensive very expensive you don't want to buy it <laughs> yeah so yeah he's going to be um he's after making a list today and making out like like his bits of diagrams and whatever way he works that kind of stuff as i can't wire a plug and he's going to wire all three cars and go and make you a bit of a, a workstation for himself as it's very difficult if you're a worker that's used to your own workspace for him to come over here and uh, work in our workshop is going to be very difficult. But um, yeah, we're going to try and make him feel as at home as possible. We're going to try set up a bit of a workstation and have all of his stuff uh, handy to get and show him around all where the tools are and stuff. But um, yeah, excited to get all the wiring done now. Alright Jack. Keep going. Um, we had a busy day. Very busy. Just got all the gear together now. Come and see a bit of fuel, and she's ready to be washed tomorrow. 
No rope. Head her for a race car. What am I doing tomorrow? Jack is doing Ricky tomorrow and Thursday. So it's Connor. And who else? Yeah. Good man. See, I'm getting good at this old vlog crack. Like. <laughs> You're not bad at it. I reckon there's an old job there for me like in a couple of years' time if I just stay at it. Like, you know? <laughs> so, as Mikey said, we've sorted most of the gear. This weekend we will be trying out these uh, extreme performance tires, same as what we run on the drift car. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they work. I don't want to have any intermediates, I just have uh, dry tires basically. So if the weather gets good enough and I know that I can go and trust them and still put in some good times, I will be um, putting them on the car. But uh, yeah, track day, track day tires, are the dealer of them here in Ireland and they will be they actually sponsored me for this rally as well so um thank you to those guys uh the car needs to get some stickers changed around we have another couple of sponsors for this rally um which is great so the day of scrutiny I will show you all that kind of stuff um but for now we must go mix some fuel uh yeah tomorrow's recce we have a busy two days of we have to cover I think there's nine stages that get ran multiple times there's 18 stages in total so we have a lot of work to do myself and mike you're leaving at seven in the morning and connor is leaving at seven also and meeting his navigator down there yeah it's been a busy busy few days with the wiring getting everything done in the cars it's fairly late right now trying to get everything sorted and we're gone again very early in the morning but um from tomorrow we can try to relax get the head in the game and focus on finishing the rally that's basically what we're going there to do um first weekend out with the new engine and stuff so yeah we're excited and it's probably the most ready we've ever been isn't it like we've um we were saying this the other night like we've been uh usually <laughs> usually the car is on the lift at this point and there's nothing organized <laughs> so so mikey and the boys are uh fairly happy that uh, we're ready basically so yeah it's time to go for fuel uh, Connor will be doing his thing tomorrow as well, his first rally, um, it's going to be quite exciting, uh, obviously driving the Rally 4 car, it's going to be good, and um, yeah, that's enough rambling for now I guess. Morning. It's very early. It's very early. You awake here, Connor? <laughs> Show us your little Ricky machine. My left hooker. Have a look at that. I let the steering on the wrong side. Polish Connor is here, like. Polish. Yeah. Connor's Ricky machine. My Ricky machine. What a beauty. I told him he did the van again. But uh, I really got a CV joint last night for it and it was the wrong one. So it can be a waste of exercise. Um, so yeah, it's like 7 a.m. hitting the road to kind of guilty now. Ricky today, tomorrow, scrutiny Friday. So long week. You excited, Mikey? Very. Very. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> I'll make up there, right? Yeah, so yeah, I'm trying to hit the road and get on the stages and see what see what lies ahead of us midday coffee <laughs> we've had a busy morning very busy morning uh yeah we've after doing the friday stages twice and the sunday stages twice and we're going to do the sunday stages one more time yeah so you're you're allowed to do three passes of um every stage so we will obey by the rules and do third pass of the Sunday stages and then that way we will be good to do Friday stages once more tomorrow and then we can do the Saturday stages as well tomorrow, hopefully we have time. But uh, yeah, the weather is fairly shocking. There is a lot of water on the roads so hopefully the rain just like just stopped a small bit at least that way. We'll, give us a chance. Yeah, we'll be able to get through the road without... Um, 
yeah. getting waterlogged. I think there's um, actually like a river at one stage. Yeah, there's like literally a channel after coming into one of the roads where yeah. like it's just a full stream ahead, like coming down the hill. So, yeah. I think that's a new note for Mikey. Yeah, to never call. <laughs> so, never yeah, before. we're uh, making progress, which is good. Yeah. And um, trying to get back to it now. Stop for a coffee, and uh, Corey has us stocked up with all the snacks that oh, we need. We have the, we have the precious. Yeah, Mikey is delighted <laughs> with his mini eggs. So, uh, yeah, trying to get back to it, and uh, not too sure if Connor's doing any filming. But he brought a camera in yeah. We're so still going to be him though. In Ricky. <laughs> yeah, we're going to win Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> That's our aim, is to win Ricky. <laughs> so yeah, get back to it now. And uh, yeah, I'm sick of driving around this after, to be honest. <laughs> So we're here in uh, Clannacilty Car Centre in West Cork. Clannacilty. I can say Clannacilty better than I can spell it because if anybody's seen my Instagram story, I spelt it wrong. But um, yeah, we, uh, we're here in a Steve's place. He said that we could come in tonight. This is where they do, this is where they do uh, scrutiny uh, for the rally. So we just really come in under the lights, uh, put on all the stickers that I needed to get put on the car. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a walk around as to who's helping us out. Um, firstly, thank you to Dave Duan, Exact Signs, again, for the last minute sticker job of printing off everything. Um, we have Colin Byrne, toolhire.com, uh, on board for this weekend. We have Track Day Tires, who are the supplier of Extreme Tires in Ireland. We have myself. Clannacilty Car Centre, Mallow Tools, Shanahan Auto Brake, um, and we have Avonmore Electrical, also have MVB Blasting, who, as you've seen before, blasted Connor's car. We also have my granddad, Paddy Shanahan, and we have Dan Dimsey Kinsale. So, yeah. Without these people, obviously, this kind of weekend would not be possible. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to driving the car now again. Uh, big upgrade, obviously, with the engine. Connor's here. What's up, Jack? Excited? Buzzing, man. Yeah? Yep. I'm all I'm set. I'm nervous, but I'm excited, yeah. to be honest. So. Sweet. So I tested the car. Um, very cool, to be honest. was really uh, kind of happy, but... Definitely a lot of driving in it, uh, front wheel drive, like no experience in front wheel drive ever really, bar like when I was back racing hot rod, but I can barely remember how I even started that car and never went <laughs> drove it, so. No, excited for sure, stages are class and I seem to be learning the notes as best as possible, as it, like as I said before, this weekend's just like learning, make sure that I can drive the car properly and then Sunday we'll try push on a little bit maybe, but best luck to you, I'm sure you'll have fun, I'm sure you'll be flat we'll as always. We'll try, yeah. <laughs> um, but we yeah, also no. have the, the flat out sideways merchandise to show them. Yeah, for so sure, which is class. The, uh, we'll show you them tomorrow. Also, a massive thank you to ECU Master. We are now run the ECU Master Black and Dash in the car, which uh, controls nearly everything. We also have three screen displays. So one is like stage mode, where it's just a gear clock. Um, we'll chance that for one or two of the stages. I do get a little bit paranoid when I can't see temperature of the car, oil pressure, all that kind of stuff, but it does look very very cool and you can just see the gears uh, nothing else so um yeah ready for scrutiny in the morning it's time to tuck her into the corner here for the night and um yeah obviously myself and connor are very excited and we can't wait to get in the road tomorrow evening uh first two stages are in the bright second two stages are in the dark so it'll be 
Yeah, it's definitely a challenge for Connor first one. I've after getting my night experience already, which is um handy. But uh, yeah, we're ready to go and yeah, it's time to get some rest. So good night. We really have to get you a new jumper because this 130 crack isn't gonna go down, will they? Ah, uh, but I got it for free, is it? Well, I have a free jumper for you soon now. You can put that on. You have to pay me no for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so the car is just through scrutiny, the logbook changed, and we are ready to hit the park for Um Usually, I don't get excited for a rally until you go through scrutiny and stuff because rally scrutiny is quite. Uh, it's quite strict, so you want to just make sure you've everything done properly and obviously after changing the engine and everything and doing it all myself and not having anybody look at it, I was kind of worried that there might have been something wrong, but we've done everything right, which is great. Uh, the car looks unbelievable now again. I love that we get to change all the stickers for every couple of rallies that we do because it's always like a new era of the thing. Um, also, the gold wheels are very, very nice in it and you will see that I have smirched for the gold wheels also, um, which are kind of cool. So. Um, yeah, it's ready to head to Park Firma now, park up, and then we can chill out until, I think we're not out of Park Firma until four o'clock, and it's not even 9 a.m. now, so we've um, we have a bit of a day to pass, but we go for breakfast and stuff. But uh, yeah, Connor's out doing his last runs of recce this morning. Obviously his car will get put through scrutiny for him. Uh, me and Mike have to bring the car in ourselves. But uh, yeah, good to go to Park Firma, park her up, and try to get ahead in the game for this evening. Just dropped the car to park for me. It's in some good company here. Obviously the whole grid gets to park here before we do time out and then we drive on to service and then get your tires sorted and head for stage one. Like he thought it'd be a great idea to take the piss out of Connor with his uh, end plates up for the weekend. Quite the comedian, huh? I don't know. What <laughs> I don't have uh... a. <laughs> Four for no. Ten seconds. The one he's recording now, then. Oh, fuck him. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Long point left, no point for Turkey. Titans here now, 30. Three rides in up here, 80. Long five left in, 170. Fast four right crest out here then, watch it, 60 fast three right. The four uh, 80 then, and a four right dog foot, very long five left, 60. And slowing four right in, lay two left, 80. Slowing four now, lay two left, 80. And shot two left in over bridge. Two left bridge now. Long five right continues out of it. Oh, there is fucked up. Parted in, five left on foot. 150. Six left in, 80. Very long five right on foot down here. Five right long, no dog cut. 60 in and four left. 60 slowing, four right. Press sudden, unseen turn square right. Unseen square right. Turn half and left in around the island. 80 in up the middle. Square left narrow up here. Middle crest five right. 150 in up the middle. And a five right, four left. And a five right then, three left on foot. Three left after this now, on foot. Tight four right then, 60, three right past the junction, gravel, 60. Three right now, gravel, 60. Five right, five left. And a six left, six right after this. And a care, five left, six right. And six left, long crest, tight four left in at the three at the bottom. So four left now after this. 
you down here. Yeah. Yeah, he did bump down and four right. Yeah, he did very sharp three left, rough 100. And slowing danger, press sudden unseen, square right, bail inside. Square right now, bail inside. Unseen. 200 then. She's all over the boys. 200 then. Crest 5 left down here and 200 bumps down. 5 left now, 200 bumps down. And tight 4 left bottom, Sippy here, watch it, bail outside. Crest in and 150 bumps. And turn shot happening right down here. 40 out of it. It's a long 6 right. Parting in, 4 right up here, 6 left past the junction. 4 right now, 6 left past the junction. 5 left in, narrow long, watch it, press, and 5 right. 80 long past 3 right in down here. In the turn 3 left, right, don't cut. Bail outside, press, 80. 3 left now, tight, zap, bail outside, 80. 6 left in. And long 3 left in up here, 130. Long three left here now, 130. Six left in, black press, 40. And six left again, 100. And six left in again, and six left again, 80 into shot four right. So six left now, 80 and shot four right. 40 then, black press, 100. And a fast four left up here into five right. Long 6 left, only 60 in and turn unseen, square right, bail outside. So 6 left now, 60, square right. 100 in. 6 left up here and long 6 right, 300. 6 right now, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on 300. Oh, yeah, yeah. Black press in, 150. And care press shot, 4 right, water. 100 chicane right in, 3, 4 bail. So, 4 right to Siena Water, 110 right in 3, 4 bales. And 4 right out of it, middle crossroads. 60 rough in and 6 left press down here. And watch it in, 4 left dip, water maybe. 6 left, 6 right. And 4 left in up here, passing 8, 40 and 5 left at the ball outside. And long 5 right then continues, press 100. And care 4 left bump and 4 right jump, watch it here now. 80 then, 5 left in, 60 and shot 3 left slippy. 3 left slippy after this. Press in and late 4 right, 60 and late shot 3 right. Late 4 right now and late shot 3 right. 60 then and a 5 right press jump. 40 down, 3 right, watch it, 40 and long 3 left bridge. Slippy, mud, and three right. Three right now, 60, and five left. Slippy continues. 130 in up the middle. Slippy continues. And a four right in, only 40 ton square right gravel. Four right, only 40 square right gravel. Oh my god. 40 then. Four right here, tight four left. Watch it down, 60. And four left again for line jump bridge and four right. And 250 in after this. Fast four right up here, five left. It's a flat press, tight three left, past the day and watch it. So four right, five left, press, tight three left now down here, past the day and watch it. 130 in and cash lay two right. Lay two right down here now, five left. 40 in, 4 left, 60. 2 seconds. 4 left, 6 left in, 60, 6 right, 5 right in, then 80 for 5 left, 100. 5 left in, 300 then down the middle. 5 right now, 300. Slowing in at the pink wall, watch your braking shot, 2 left at the bottom. Pink wall, braking, 2 left at the bottom. 40 in and 4 left. Right in after this and turn square left gravel. Square left gravel. Five left long out of it. Sixty in. 
very long five left continues Martin and five left and again press and fast three right in so press now five left and three right 100 in and four left slippy 100 up the middle rough and a three right fast in three left three right now fast in three left 80 in three right again right again, 60, middle crest in and 3 left again, bail outside, oh, no, 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 pull in, pull in, pull in, that's engine lad, is that? Yeah, it's there, sir. Yeah, oil, oil, oil. Are you on fire? No, no, no. Oh, oh looks at that. Joy is that. So, as you can see, on the side of the road, uh, we had an engine failure, which is not fantastic. We've now been standing in the rain for an hour. <laughs> We're very wet, but uh, yeah, someone <laughs> just got a puncher. Mikey being Mikey, <laughs> when they fixed their puncher. Um, so yeah, not an ideal in for weekend. Uh, Connor is still going. Uh, it's Saturday morning. Second stage, we were second best in the first stage. We were just two seconds off. Uh, we were leading the class by like almost 30 seconds, so we were going very well, but um, that's rallying. Um, well, unfortunately, we won't be able to fix the car uh, because there's a big window on the side of the block. That's not meant to be there, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So we're going to try to get back to service and um, follow Connor on. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, not Connor actually passed the down yeah, here. Yeah, Connor actually passed the car oh, here. So. He tells us we can actually believe him. Yeah, yeah. We've seen it. He's not <laughs> chatting shit. But uh, yeah, obviously not the result we wanted. Uh, we were going very well. We were just getting into the swing of things then again today with the rain and the fog. But um, yeah, as they say, that's rallying. Yeah. We got a new t-shirt and hoodie made up flat out sideways. We might have been a little bit too much flat out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, it is what it is. But. Yeah. They look cool, that. We'll, uh, yeah, they look good. Yeah. Make sure you buy them because yeah, we need yeah. to pay for this engine. Um, but yeah, we are having fun till then. So yeah. we just have to stand in the ditches again and support the rest. But yeah, so it's all, right. all over. So it's all right. yeah. So, where's our head at? My head? This guy, quite the comedian, huh? <laughs> so while we had a bit of time, as we don't have a lot of driving to do now with the engine, Goose, I said that we'd uh, pull the head off for the sake of a 25 minutes or a half an hour work just to see what actually is the issue, if the head is salvageable, all that kind of stuff. Uh, turns out it's a bearing failure. Uh, four spark plugs look mint, four pistons look mint. Um, so I'm not really too sure what the issue was, I don't know, is it? It's weird, like we, we had perfect oil pressure and everything. Um, so obviously we're gonna just check the logs of the ECU master and um, we're gonna send them to get them looked at and uh, see what the issue actually is basically. Um, it's a little bit confusing, I don't know. We're yeah, a bit baffled now, but um, at least it's just the block, the crank, Conrad's that are the issue. Um, so yeah, it's not the biggest ordeal as we have some salvageable parts which is good but um yeah we uh we were saying we were going to fix it but we also had a bit of a we had a bit of a bearing issue in um the gearbox as well so there's no point trying to fix it i do have a spare block at home that we could have put in but if we did get going there's a chance that the box probably would have failed tomorrow um anyway so yeah very disappointed it's just unfortunate like we were on such a good push but and we were only just getting into it as well, like I hadn't done a proper confidence stage, you could say. So, yeah, at least now we have a bit of a, a list to make, know what we need to fix, all that kind of stuff. We'll get packed up, but um, I think uh, the lads have an update from Connor. What'd you say there? Connor's going fourth in his class. Yeah? Sweet. So, I think Connor, 
Connor might have got the Momo that like you know Jack's out like one of us has to do good now like <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. he's driving on now again yeah, but um yeah. yeah so Mikey yeah what are Mikey where's, where's Jack and your where's we, Jack we were so yeah. fast lad we finished right in like. yeah we, we finished That's before them all <laughs> so fast we are did you ring last night <laughs> yeah so yeah we're gonna pack up here as well but we're gonna try keep an eye on Connor's times I might try catch up in a minute and ask him how he's getting on but we're at that position now, I'd say he's very, very happy. Obviously, I haven't got much done the last week because we were at the rally and all the done the rally was blown engine, so it was a complete waste of time really. Um, but Anko, Andy Shanahan, has been um, flat out here. He's got the chassis loom for my car uh, basically complete now. Um, obviously, we have bulkhead connectors, the PMU, ECU, and then we have this guy, which is the bulkhead connector for the engine loom. Um, I think you, yeah. So as you can see, lots of um, lots of pins in there, and he has. I'll show you the engine loom in a second. But yeah, this is obviously completely separate. It runs from the front of the car, back of the car, ECU and P PMU, and then there is these guys. I think these are for front of the car, or back of the car. Yeah, front of the car. So that's the full front loom, um, which obviously is quite small, and bulky connector here, and then you have your two headlights, wipers, fan, and a spare auxiliary cord as well. Um, just in case we want to run like all the light bars underneath the cars, whatnot. Um, yeah, I think the wires are already ran for like, the fans because we're putting the fans and the fuel pumps on a separate relay than the PMU. Um, it's kind of more just like as a safer option as to rather than letting the PMU run it. Um, we could have ran a second PMU at the back of the car, but then it would have just been a whole lot of more wiring. So, yeah, we're going to let the PMU kind of control all the auxiliaries of everything. Uh, obviously, the PMU and the keypad is going to still switch on all of the stuff and control everything, which is good. Um, yeah, the wiring loom here. Don't know if this is my one or Fionn's one. Uh, but as you can see, the twist loom is very, very nice stuff. Um, it's uh, fairly detailed. I like that he used separate colors, like different colors for everything. And he's also got everything drawn out in his laptop that he can send us and uh, if we're at an event. And if something goes wrong with any part of the electronics of the car now, it'll just be a matter of going to a spreadsheet. It'll tell you where it's coming from, where it's going to, what color wire it is. Um, and it'll, I think he also said something about like where you can have like, he has like a couple of extra wires, not in the engine loom, but in the chassis harness, just like laid in there as like, uh, just to bulk up the loom. But it also means that like, if something does go wrong with a wire that we have a spare wire in the loom and uh, you can just like plug it into the PMU and go somewhere else basically. But um, yeah, we have the ECU and the PMU just uh, roughly mounted for now. Um, obviously the tech screws aren't um, gonna be staying there forever. Uh, the keypad holder is here. So obviously I fabricated these just to, for ease of use. From the other side, obviously, you can lay your hand on top of it. You've got your cutout switch here that you can press all your buttons to start your car and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, getting there. Once he has this full car done, we will be starting this car and making sure. So he's going to program everything, start the car, and then we will have basically just a copy file to do the other two cars. And he's going to build the other looms at home in his other workshop. Um, so, yeah, it's getting there. Obviously, the wiring is slow and tedious work. Um, I don't pity anybody that has to do wiring every day because, no. my God, I'd be after, <laughs> I'd be after burning the shed down. But uh, yeah, happy with progress so far. Obviously, the faster we get stuff done, the better. Fionn's engine should be here in this week. Um, that's the plan. So obviously, the engine has been built for nearly three weeks now, but we've been waiting on uh, rock covers. Uh, to seal off the engine. Obviously, we could have put rock covers onto the engine, but Mike Dean wants to seal the engine in his engine room, which is totally 
uh, understood as it's an expensive package and we don't want anything going wrong between there and here and I don't want to get any blame for any of the internals of the engine. Um, but yeah, we'll be able to collect that. Hopefully by the end of the week, if we get the rocket cover as we have everybody else, uh, should be there for it. So yeah, it's a, yeah, exciting times. If we get the engine back, we can lay the engine in, do the clutch, gearbox. We have all the release bearing, uh, housing made, everything done. So it's just a matter of measure a prop shaft, finish off the lines, put on the body kit and wait for the wiring to come back. And then that's her almost ready to go for a test. So. Yeah, busy few weeks now ahead, but um, we'll get there. But uh, that's a bit of an update of to what's going on right now.